speaking of things that are not good, the this, following. This whole thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. what's about to happen? It's going to be quite bad. And again, it's a baby, so you can't tell if this is just the baby having a weird vision of the mother actually literally trying to clean the bear, or if this is some sort of spooky bullshit. I mean, it might be both. Could be both. Why not both? Why not Zoidberg? <laughs> this is some nonsense, however. Yeah, the bit where the that happens? Yeah. And the baby isn't dead somehow? Yeah, that's no good. Oh, that's... I forgot how no good this game was, Scott. Oh, boy. Although the frame rate is suffering, so maybe that will keep you from being too scared. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I think you gotta, you know, stand up to move shit. Oh, Scott, I don't like any of this. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we got a request back in October to finish the fucking game. Okay, but why, are we, why am I doing this? Because you were the one playing the game back in October. Okay, why did I do it in October? Because I asked you politely. Uh, Scott. Scott. Like, I even know what's coming for the first little bit here, and I hate it. I hate it. I know that you can do it, though. Man. Something's not right. God, that's so grim. Yeah, right? It's like it's like he was being tortured. Yeah. It's a fucked up thing to think about. Yeah, it's no good. The, the baby's shadow started me. That's where we're at. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm walking around. <laughs> oh, Scott, I don't like any of this. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, fun fact for those of you viewing at home. Uh, Matthew doesn't like scary games. Oh, yeah, you think, you think people... Didn't catch on to that already? Could you, you tell? That's the thing? Could you, could, could you tell? Oh, Scott, I I don't like this. Matthew, it Scott, ain't that bad. What is bad. that sound? Scott, this is that bad. I don't it's know. It's just the terror. Oh, I remember this. I won't play this, part. I won't play this whole game with my eyes closed. I'm not looking. Well, you, mm, good job of sidestepping a very cinematic it's a spooky part. Yeah, well, you, you should know. You should know. If having me play this game, this is gonna happen. Well, Matthew did what he could to make sure that we didn't see the cool stuff. Oh, Scott, controller rumble. Oh look, a fruit is now down. Oh, Scott, I don't want to. Be, I don't want to be a part of this game. Oh, beans. We uh, the collectible in this game is uh, drawings that the child does. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. How do I close this door? You don't. I do. Uh, we we have already missed one of the drawings, so. I can live with that. That's fine. We're not going for 100%. Scott, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's too bad because we're finishing this game. God, Scott, I can hear something out there. There's nothing out there. Scott, I can hear it out there. There's. I'll tell you for free. If you go out there, you're not going to get spooked. Scott, I'll punch you in the throat if, if, this, isn't, if this isn't the case. This is not the first time a good friend of mine has uh, punched me in the throat, so... Yeah, and you've deserved it every time. I'll tell that story right now. Oh, yeah, you might as well. Yeah. I was, uh, you gotta get the thing so you can reach the fucking doorknob, you dang baby. Scott. (laughs) Scott, no. I got no patience for a person who threatens to punch me in the throat. (laughs) Really? It's bizarre to me. Um... So a good, 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 good friend of mine named Brayden, uh, one time he, myself, and Lucas, who's also regularly featured on this channel. Um, yeah, that's bullshit, right? Some bullshit. That's Who hangs bullshit. a trench coat in front of boots like that? Um, but me, Lucas, and Brayden are watching a movie called Trick or Treat, or Trick or Treat, if you're, you know, reading. And uh, that was fun, because I like that movie a lot. Also, I'm not going into this door. And there was a bit... The fuck? Anyways. This is very... Yeah, there's a big old boat sailing away. But there's a bit in that movie where a spooky thing happens and some werewolves show up. Spoiler. A uh, movie came out literally a decade ago, so fucking deal with it. And uh, Brayden my good pal, decided to... My, my good pal, who's also three or four feet taller than me. Mm-hmm. Oh, this, is, this is going well already. Three or four inches, but um, he's, he's quite a bit, you know, 
comparatively speaking. So he, uh, he glanced at me and said, hey, I gotta pee. And my immediate, you know, reactive thought was, oh, I'm gonna spook the shit out of Brayden. He's already gonna have shit at this point, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I waited until I could hear him leaving the bathroom, at which point, of course, I sprinted towards him in the dark during a scary movie. And so naturally, Brayden did what people do when they get scared, and mm -hmm. he punched me in the throat so hard that the Pop-Tart that I had at that point been enjoying launched out of my face. Mm -hmm. So bad that I, you know, cried. <laughs> That's, you're, you're explaining my whole deal right now, man. And you know what happened? You got punched in the throat. <laughs> we never found that chunk of pop. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> it got sent into space. So, Braden killed me. Somewhere that part, part, that pop part still like, this is good. Yeah. It's fine. Scott, I don't want to do it's this. It's not very good. Mm -hmm.